The defending champions have conceded 10 goals in their last four games in all competitions as they continue to drop points to domestic rivals. City another three goals at home after leading. When Manchester City won their first six matches of the Premier League season, many felt the destination of the title was already a foregone conclusion. Pep Guardiola's side had come out of the traps faster than what we normally see and looked destined for a fourth straight league trophy. However, those who took a glance at their upcoming fixtures knew there was a tough run on the horizon, and so it is proven. City have won just three of their last eight league matches and are winless in three after twice surrendering the lead against Tottenham to draw 3-3 on Sunday. As such, they have given up their spot at the top of the Premier League table and serious questions are being asked of the champions, especially in defence, where they have conceded 10 goals in their last four games in all competitions. Spurs certainly took advantage of that, though it's fair to also point the finger of blame at City's forwards, and particularly Erling Haaland after a profligate display in front of goal played a key role in Angie Postico Glue's side being able to fight their way back into the encounter. City's tough run of games unofficially comes to an end on Wednesday when they travel to Aston Villa and try to bring a stop to Unai Emery's long home winning run, but with key men Rodri and Jack Grealish suspended and injury concerns surrounding Jeremy Doku after he limped off early in the second half here, that will be far from an easy task. Should they fail, then there will be plenty more asking whether this City side has what it takes to make history come May. The statistics will show that Haaland assisted two of City's three goals, but the reality is he looked off the pace and his shooting was wildly off the mark. He couldn't link up with Julian Alvarez or Jeremy Doku to much effect, and when he got into good shooting areas, he looked incapable of finishing. Liverpool go second after Trent Masterclass. A chaotic game was settled by the England international, but the Reds' defensive issues will concern Jurgen Klopp. Trent Alexander-Arnold worked his magic to fire Liverpool to a 4-3 win against Fulham on Sunday. A cracking free kick from the right back opened the scoring for the Reds, sparking into gear what turned out to be an absolutely wild match. And just as it looked like the teams would have to settle for a draw, it was the England star who settled matters with another fine strike in the 88th minute. While the Reds escaped with the three points, they will be concerned about the defensive issues that left them facing a shock 3-2 defeat until late on. Liverpool fans will be praying for the return of goalkeeper Alisson after watching KOM and Kelleher flounder as Fulham struck three times despite the home team's dominance. After Alexander-Arnold's fantastic first goal, which will actually go down as a burned Leno own goal after it bounced down off the crossbar and in off the German's back, Alexis McAllister struck a truly wonderful shot to beat Leno from distance. Sadly for the duo, they were let down at the back as Fulham equalised first through Harry Wilson taking advantage of a defensive mess on Liverpool's part and then thanks to a Kenny Tat shot from close range. Kelleher looked bad on both goals, particularly the second, and was then left floundering as Bobby de Cordova Reed headed in to give the away team the lead in the 80th minute. Try as they might, the likes of Mohamed Salah, Darwin Nunez and Luis Diaz could not manage to find the all-important goal in the second half. The Egyptian was excellent at creating danger for the Fulham defence but poor finishing from all three forwards scuppered their chances and it fell to a fine goal from Wateru Endo to level it before Alexander-Arnold found the winner. It was business as usual for the North London side as they beat Gary O'Neill's Wolves side 2-1 on Saturday afternoon at the Emirates Stadium. Bukayo Soka and skipper Martin Odegaard propelled them to a comfortable 2-0 lead within the first quarter and the England international strike was the Gunners' 100th goal across all competitions in 2023, making them just the, the fifth team from the big five European leagues to reach the magic figure. Arsenal now sit one point clear at the top of the table ahead of Liverpool in second and City dropped to third after their draw with Spurs. Newcastle United are considering making a move for former Manchester United goalkeeper David De Gaia after losing Nick Pope to long-term injury. Nick Pope fell awkwardly during Newcastle United's clash against Manchester United on Saturday and dislocated his shoulder in the process. While the result of a scan on his injury is awaited, the goalkeeper is likely to be ruled out of action for up to five months, according to journalist Mike McGrath.